Hello friends, welcome to Daring Marina YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about both thruster and their working. Okay. Both thruster, it is a propulsion device fitted to certain types of ship to improve maneuverability. Okay. It is a propulsion device fitted to certain types of ship to improve the maneuverability. The thrust unit consists of propeller mounted in the earthward ship tunnel and provided with some auxiliary drive such as electric or hydraulic motor. The thrust unit it consists of propeller mounted in the earthward ship tunnel and provided with some auxiliary drive such as electric or hydraulic motor. During operation, this water is forced through tunnel to push the ship sideways either to port or starboard as required. During operation, the water is forced through tunnel to push the ship sideways either to port or starboard side as required. The unit is normally bridge controlled and is most effective when the vessel is stationary. You have to understand that the unit is normally bridge controlled and is most effective when the vessel is stationary. In a controllable pitch type thruster, a servo motor located in the gear housing, it will enable propeller blade pitch to be altered. In controllable pitch type thruster, servo motor located in the gear housing enable propeller blade pitch to be altered. To provide water flow in either direction, so this controller pitch type thruster as servo motor located on the gear housing, this enabled propeller blades pitch to be altered to provide water flow in either direction. With this arrangement, any non-reversing prime mover like single speed electric motor may be used. With this arrangement, any non-reversing prime mover like single speed electric motor may be used. Okay. <laughs> Both thrusters is a propulsion device fitted to a certain depth of ship to improve maneuverability. The thrust unit consists of propeller mounted in an earthward ship tunnel provided with some auxiliary drive such as electric or hydraulic motor. During operation, the water is forced through the tunnel to push the ship sideways either to port or starboard as required. The unit is normally bridge control and is mostly effective when the vessel is stationary. In control of pitch type thruster, a servo motor located on the gear housing enables propeller blade pitch to alter to provide water flow in either direction. With this arrangement, any non-reversing prime mover like single speed electric motor may be used. The prime mover need to be stopped during maneuvering operation since the blade can be placed at zero pitch when no thrust is desired. The prime mover need not to be stopped during maneuvering operation since the blade can be placed at zero pitch when no thrust is desired. The drive is obtained through flexible drive shaft, couplings and bevel gear. Special seats prevent any seawater leakage in this unit. Drive is obtained through flexible drive shaft, couplings and bevel gears. Special seats prevent any seawater leakage into this unit. The complete assembly includes part of earthward ship tunnel through which water is directed to provide the thrust. So this complete assembly unit consists of earthward ship tunnel through which water is directed to provide the thrust. Okay. This is what about thrust bearing and all.